All right, uh, Green Sisters, a fantastic set. Um, really enjoyed your music. I mean, first of all, I really love the vocal harmonies and all the different instrumentation uh, that you guys uh, performed today. So, um, uh, first off, I want to ask you uh, just how you guys got started playing music together. Well, we were born in the same family. <laughs> and then. <laughs> of course, yeah. We decided to play together. Well, it was like probably 2015. A lot of people, we would play random things, and people would ask us, like, oh, do you guys play, or do you have a name? Can you play our wedding? And we were like, we don't know what we are. So then we decided to start officially being the Green Sisters. And the name came easy because yeah. we're sisters. <laughs> I should also That's state our last that growing up, we learned cla classical instruments, like flute and cello and all that stuff. And our parents were in a country western band, and they used to force us to play, to sing with them. And we kind of hated that, or at least I did. But, um, it was terrifying. <laughs> but eventually we started to play things together and at various things, like Beck said. And one, one thing that was really impressive is just you guys were just swapping instruments throughout like the entire set. Like, like I think every one of you played ba bass for the most part? or If guitar, you come to or? one of our shows, it's a lot smoother because yeah. we try to do like different songs. So this, <laughs> was, this I, was kind of a rough cut of a... I, I thought it was really interesting. I mean, it just shows the versatility and like musicianship of all four of you. So, um, cool. one one thing I, I also want to ask you is how, how did you guys develop the vocal harmonies? Have have you been singing together for a well, while? Well, <laughs> I we kind of I think have been singing since we were born, and we do have very distinct memories of not really having toys or fun <laughs> things to do. We grew up so we grew up on a farm. When we would go on long car rides, we our parents would you know, be driving and we would have to entertain ourselves so we'd always be singing and we'd sing probably the same song for like a two hour car ride over and over and over. There used to be six of us but my parents killed two of us. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't talk anymore. Because um, we were so annoying. Well, <laughs> That's okay. not true. I remember a lot of times we'd have to go out to the blueberry patch which is acres and acres away and pick blueberries um, and I remember we would all be at a separate blueberry bush like over the hill and one person would go like, ha -da -da -dee -ha, and we'd all go, ha -da -da -dee -ha, and then someone else would do that. We'd do that for hours. It was pretty fun. It doesn't sound fun, but it was fun. <laughs> I thought it was pretty fun. So uh, how do you, uh, how do you uh, kind of uh, write songs together? Is it separately, and then you kind of bring songs to the, group, the rest of the group? Or? It's kind of separately. Like, we each will we'll write a song and then bring it to the group, and then people either add in stuff or we say... No, don't do that. Do this. <laughs> Separate. Just like okay. that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you mentioned a, a little bit earlier that uh, you have a record out. Could you tell me a little bit more about that? When you yeah, recorded our, it? Yeah, our CD is called Endless Blue. And we recorded it over the course of probably the last two years. <laughs> it took a long it time. It took a lot longer than we thought it would, but it came out last June. Um, you can buy it anywhere. We recorded in Asheville at Ruckus Studio, yep. and uh, we just started home. our second CD. Oh, uh, yep. uh, when are you planning on releasing that? Soon. Um, Soon. 2019. <laughs> 2019. Uh, were, were any of the songs you performed? Uh, 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 the second song. The second two, of song. Them are, two of them will be. Two of them. You didn't ask the question. <laughs> <laughs> well, you pretty much a a answered it for oh, me. Oh, sorry. So that's, no, that's fine. Yeah, this CD will be kind of interesting, I think, because it'll be a lot of songs that we do already play at our shows, uh, and then some new stuff, too. But So if people have heard us before, they'll probably have heard. Not that you shouldn't buy the CD, I'm just saying. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And uh, do you have any shows coming up um, throughout uh, like mid, late March or April that you'd uh, like people to know about? We have a show on Friday, March 15th at the Gardner Ale House, but March 16th we're playing at New City Brewery in East Hampton, which is east of here, I would assume. <laughs> I'm, not sure. I'm not a car talker. That's the pre-St. Patrick's Day party. Yes, yes yep. with Amber Bell and the Ringers. Yep. Oh, we actually had uh, Amber Bell on. She's in the sessions. They, they play the bass for their band. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we actually grew up with Amber, which is funny. But um, it's her birthday today. Happy birthday, Amber. Yeah. <laughs> um, funny little I didn't know all this. Um, and let's see. We're playing We're playing on Friday, but somewhere up in New Hampshire. A dance thing. It's a private thing. Yeah, we have a bunch of stuff coming up. We actually just took a, a couple-month break from gigs, so that's why we were a little rusty, I would this say. This is our first <laughs> gig. <laughs> But um, what was that gig? 
It's our first gig. It is our first gig. gig. Okay. Oh, you did that. Right. We never talk or practice together, obviously, as you can tell. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> we all hate each other. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> So well, th- thanks again for performing. It was a great set. Thanks for having me. Thanks, Chris. Thanks for having me. Cool.